Hi, this is Cornelius. I'm back with your second video installment on Omni 11 and uh, a little bit of focus on chameleon technology, which is what we're about to get into in this session. We've talked about the wideband AGC and some of its uh, controls there in the uh, last uh, video. Now this one here, we're going to focus in on the multiband AGC, which is where um, a few of the concepts behind chameleon technology live on the Omni 11. Um, as an overview, it's a five-band AGC, um, something that we've been uh, featuring on, on our recent uh, generation of audio processors here in Omnia Audio, and I stuck with the same here. Um, it, what the wideband AGCs do, they have all the smarts of the, of the, of, of the wideband AGC, but uh, because they're already operating in the multiband domain, there's one step that's not there, and that's the whole multiband thing. But they do have the ability to talk to each other and synchronize with each other and coordinate, which is part of the, the chameleon technology that uh, we refer to. Um, as a quick overview, you have all the same controls that you would have on the wideband AGC. You have your gating and your uh, attack and release and sync controls. One of the things, before I get too deep, that uh, confuses some folks are these controls attack offset and release offset. People wonder, okay, what's the difference between what's going on here versus what's going on underneath the advanced tab when I see an attack and release on each of the bands here. Well, what the uh, attack and release offset controls allow you to do is to offset the attack or release times on all of the bands at the same time from the front panel. And the reason behind that is um, from years and years of tweaking up Omnia 6s, one of the things that uh, I wish I was able to do after a while was to have the ability to just to move them all a little bit faster, a little bit slower, and just to see what it's like for, rather than going in and out and in and out of multiple menus and adjusting each one a little bit and only say no, I don't like that. They have to go back and do the same thing all over again. And it's even worse if you have multiple controls like attack and releases um, and gates that you've tweaked along the way. So um, one of the things that's very different with the Omni 11 from any other processor is that you have a gate master, attack offset, release offset. And these three uh, apply a, a, multiply, a multipl multiplication factor to the controls underneath. So with the attack and release control set at 0, 0.0, they're not modifying anything at all. Whatever the uh, individual attack and releases are in the multiband sections of the uh, uh, multiband AGC, or how, however they're dialed in there, that's what it is. Um, besides some modifications to the programming content that it will do from time to time to manage density and whatnot. As you, as you turn up the attack offset control, what you're doing is you're, you're speeding up the attack time on all the uh, multiband AGCs at the same time. And as you slow them down, you're slowing down the attack time on all of the multiband AGCs simultaneously. And from there, you could either leave it however it is if you like the way it sounds, or you can go in and maybe bump them all down or up a little bit individually and set these back to zero if you wish. It's, it's up to you how you use it. There is no right or wrong way to do it. The flexibility is there for you to play around with it however you feel you, uh, you wish. Um, same thing with the gate master. As you turn the gate master up and down, all of the gates in the multiband AGC uh, will um, either go higher in threshold or lower in threshold at the same time. So there, these are convenience uh, controls here for you on the front panel. And we call it basic because you can dial these in. If you like the way it sounds, you never have, you never would have to go into the individual menus where you've got you can, you know deeper uh, options to drill down. You can just leave it at that and, and be done with it. Um, so that's a quick overview. Another uh, feature that um, that's in the Omni 11 multiband AGCs that I get a lot of question about, and this is getting into some of the chameleon technology, is this control here called Sync Master that I've been switching off and on. Um, Basically, um, there's two modes you can use the sync master is, uh, in, and you can have this mid-high band master, which is the middle band on the multiband AGC right here, or a mid-low master, when you switch it there, and when you make the mid-low band the master, the second um, band on the multiband AGC right here becomes the master that, that uh, they all follow. Now, what does that mean? Okay, well, when you have... Um, a, a, a band dedicated as master, in this case the uh, mid-high band AGC, um, this becomes a reference band. And it's what that reference is working with is um, 
the bands uh, adjacent to that middle band, in this case the uh, presence band and the, and the low mid band here, they are watching this one to coordinate their release times with each other. Now how much of a variation that is, is up to you. There's a control over here on the basic control menu on the, on the multi-band AGC called Sync. And this control is the uh, control that determines how, at what level, what threshold they're, they're going to do their, their thing. So this control is at uh, minus three and a half dB. So if we move back to the uh, metering here, what this means is, is if this control were to take on more than three and a half dB of gain compared to this guy here, if it goes down, this band here will wait. And the same with, same with this one. If, if this one is three and a half dB higher than this one, they will wait and not release. No matter how much gain that happens here, they will just sit there and wait until this band falls within that, uh, that sync window range and then they will set the release together. Now, this is different from coupling and uh, in that on a coupling scheme, when you dedicate something to be master the, uh, and, and you have your slave band, you know, the default, if the master band takes a more gain than the, uh, than the band that's watching or the slave, it gets dragged along with the master band in gain reduction. And then when they release, they'll release together. And if there's energy in this band as this one releases, then this guy is independent of the master until it takes on more gain that they drag themselves down together. Um, I never was a big fan of that. I understood why it worked and use it a bit in the past with other processors before we, I started designing my own and other people. But what I didn't like about that is that when you were, the master band would be higher and this guy is running independently, you could be, uh, building up a situation where the song sounds great, you have wonderful bass or whatever, but as soon as the master band were to kick in and drag it away, you lose that effect and you would just suddenly sound thin on the air. And I hated that effect. And more often than not, I would just run them uncouple them, just let them do whatever they want because it, at the end of the day, it, I like the enhancements that were provided by multiband. The downside of, doing, of, of just letting them all run amok is that there's situations where you don't want them to do their own thing and you may be pulling up too much tape hiss or whatever. The tonal qualities of the song just gets changed to a point where it's just not very desirable. And so the uh, sync control idea is what uh, came to mind as a way to, to tame all that in a subtle way without ruining what makes the multiband AGCs uh, the, good, the good parts of what multiband AGCs do. So that's the general concept and the idea behind this as we're going. So I talked about the two adjacent bands here, and so we're going to uh, talk about what happens on these outer two bands, and that's pretty simple. And that um, at three and a half dBs, this band will watch this one, and the low band here will watch this mid low. And if this band is three and a half dBs higher than this, or I just bumped something, or this guy is three and a half dB higher than this one, then these will wait. So in effect, what you're doing is you're adjusting how much of a smile curve builds up in the uh, multiband AGC section when there's content with heavy mid-range. So that's the uh, sync control uh, concept and how that's uh, useful in adjusting just how multiband the multiband AGCs become without them getting strange during moments where there's a lot of spectrum in one area or another that on the older schemes will cause you to lose your multiband effect on those moments. So that's your first peek at the multiband AGC section. When we come back, we'll look a little deeper in the control menu here on the multiband AGC, and, uh, and we'll see you then.